Hello, my name is Lucy Burden and I'm very, very happy to be the featured artist for the month for Carad. I live near Llandrin Lord Wells and I love to paint the countryside of Mid Wales and the people in it. I also love to paint the sea um, and the coast, particularly at Langranog, where I've been going on holidays since, um, since I was a little girl. Um, I, I love to paint the water, I love to paint the movement of water, the colours of water, the, the light on the water and I, I like to paint people in the water too, I like to catch a moment, so part of a story, um, a person in the landscape. So what I've decided to do today is to share the way I work with you and I hope you find it interesting and I hope that you will want to to join in with me. So I'm going to go for a walk, a, a walk around my house so not very far and you can come with me and um, well we'll see we'll see what we can find and what we come back with. It's, it's the first week of April, it's very sunny, it's a lovely day, and I'm looking forward to it. Beautiful sounds and red kites soaring above. Birds singing. I'm coming up to a tree that I really love and I'm going to take some photographs today. I love the lines on this, the lines on the bark, just amazing. All of this around here, climbing up. I've got my bag of pencils and my sketchbook and my iPad here so I can sit down and, and draw whenever I like. And here on the ground is, is this. It's like um it's like a Celtic knot, isn't it? Beautiful. coming down to the bottom of the hill now and there are usually four rams here 
who are quite friendly and one of them likes to be tickled behind the ears. Where's your mum then? There she is. It's okay. A little woodland muddy stream and still we have all the lines, just lines of the, the roots, lines of the water and lines of falling branches. There's a lovely old abandoned plough at the end of this field, so we'll go and take a look at that. Here it is. It's beautiful. This is a lovely place to sit. I'll sit here. So we'll just get the <laughs> It's quite hard because it's windy.
nearly home now. Nearly at the field next to my house. I love this field. It has lots of unused, discarded farm machinery and at the moment it's got lots of very heavily pregnant sheep. I'm back and now I can have a look through my photos and my drawings and decide what to do. So looking at this now I'm thinking that tree and climber. Could end up being maybe a tangle of driftwood in the sea. Here they all are, and I think I'm going to take this one out of the mix for the moment because I'd like to make that into a large painting. So looking at all the others on the table here, I'm going to have a little play with my uh, viewfinder that I just made, 10 centimeter square one, and I'm going to have a think about which three I would like to make into small paintings. So I have three 10 centimeter square canvases ready and now I just have to choose. I think maybe these three. Because I like this one too. I 
That was quite difficult to choose actually in the end, but I'm going with these three because they have three very contrasting um, shapes to them. I'm um, getting these canvases out of their wrappers, but this could be done on, on cardboard instead, um, or hardboard. You could um, get a piece of cardboard and, and paint it white to, to start if you don't have canvases. But you can buy these little mini canvases very cheaply. These are such small canvases that I'm going to paint the background um, in quite plain colours so that it doesn't distract from the, the main theme. I'm just making a, a nice very pale blue for this one behind the tree and that will go all over um, including down the sides. There's a little bit of pale green still on my brush and that is mixing beautifully with the pale blue. I like that. On this canvas I'm going to use um, a mixture of green and Payne's Grey for the background. This is Payne's Grey at the moment. And with this one, I'm putting on a mixture of white and green and brown, well, raw umber. Okay, I, I do like working from drawings rather than um, photographs a lot of the time because then I'm not constricted by the colours that are in the, the photographs or I'm not influenced by the colours in the photographs. These have dried beautifully so now we're on to the next stage. I'm going to use um, a very thin brush and Payne's Grey now to to mark out the the shape, the the composition of the um, canvases, I'll begin with this one.
Okay, I'll leave that for now and carry on with the next one. So this will be the this tangle, which looks a little bit like a Celtic knot. It's hard to know where to begin with this. Okay, I'll use the same um, Payne's grey. Hopefully it'll show up on here. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think I have all of the all of the twists and turns I want. So onto this one now. This close up of of very interesting bark on a tree. Okay. Now I'm gonna try outline this this one this final one okay I'm painting all three canvases at the same time because I want them to have unity. I want them to feel like they're a set. I think they'll, I think they will go very nicely together. Okay, next step. Um, I'm keeping it simple with colours, so I'm using blue, ultramarine blue, um, brown and white to put in some light and shade, looking at my original drawing to see where that is. So I, I'm mixing blue and brown to make black, nearly black.
some final little bits of, of white just to show the sunlight shining on the tree and I think this is nearly finished I'll leave that for now. I'm going to use the same colours for this one. Let's see how it goes. So I've just moved the camera around to the other side actually so you can see a bit better. I'm still I'm still using the, the same colours which is um, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna and white um, and I, I do have a bit of Payne's grey left in here as well so I sometimes use a bit of that so I'm just trying to create the light and the shadows I think it's going pretty well I'm still often amazed by the the amount of colours you can get just from a very limited palette. This is a kind of pale lilac. It's lovely. I'm bringing the three in together now just so that I can make sure that they they look good together and I think they do I think the colors are beautiful This one won't have very much um, white in it, but I'm going to put in some I'm not sure about that. Keep going. We'll see. I'm very pleased with these actually and I'm going to let them dry for a bit, come back and see how I feel about them later. These are so tiny that I haven't even had space to sign them, I've had to sign them on the side. I've given them a coat of varnish now and that'll just give them a little bit of protection and a bit of a sheen, but you don't need to do that if you don't want. They look, 
they look great I'm so pleased I think they look nice on a black background I'm also going to try frames yeah I think it works with or without frames Thank you very much for watching my video and for joining in. Bye.